guys, this is Mike and welcome to another unboxing video. Today I've got something a little bit special. This is the Horus Heresy uh, event only miniature, uh, Ixion Hail from the Adeptus Custodes. So as you can see, it's still in plastic. I'm going to rip it open right now and show you some of the stuff. Let's take a look. As you can see, uh, unlike a lot of the other limited miniatures that I've received from Forge World, this is actually in one of the character series boxes, which is nice. Um, gives it a bit more of a special feel. You can see there, it's one of the thinner ones, uh, so um, Calm came in the same packet. So in here, you can see we get this lovely official uh, piece of artwork, and then a very basic set of instructions and so on here at the back. Like all of them these days, we get one of these lovely official uh, check sheets and the priming and painting guides. It's all pretty standard stuff. Um, I do like the fact we do have a checked buy on here because it means that there, if there is an issue, then we can obviously get that sorted. So we're going to the actual kit itself now. Hopefully it's a good cast. I haven't seen one of these sort of plasticky things apart from the character series in recent memory, so let's pull all the pieces out and have a quick look, make sure it's all there. Just cut this. So there's the uh, main body. We should have the main body. We've got uh, the helmet and the arms there. This piece, I believe, is part of the terrain, it is. That's the terrain base itself there. Two shoulder pads. His uh, head and a couple of little details like his um, discordia and the uh, iron halo. Yeah, so the axe is quite a, a large and solid piece. I'm not 100% sold on the um, on the style. I don't know what matches the aesthetic of the custodes. I'll just try and give you a better look at it here. As you can see, it is quite large in terms of the, the scale against Ixian himself. Um, there's quite a lot of vent points on the, the body here, and you can see underneath the section here, it's obviously designed to in interlink into the uh, the base here. There's even a couple of peg holes there, which um, probably feed off the feet at some angle or another. I've got to have a quick look and figure that out. Although that may even be for these um, on closer inspection. There's not really any options in terms of reposing this particular model. Obviously, you can swap his arms and his legs. It looks like with taking these little pegs here off the sides on the, the torso, we could probably put different plastic arms on him. And there is a slight mold slip down the side here. It's only very faint, and I'm fairly confident with a knife and a few minutes' work, I can clean that up. But um, I can see the mold line that runs all the way up the side here. And um, I can't spot it on the other side at first glance. I've got to go over it in a bit more detail. I can see there's a little part here, so the, the line might even be hidden up the side here through one of the vent points. But in other words, in other regards, it's a very clean cast. I've seen a few of these that have been miscast. So uh, once I have a better look at it uh, off camera, I'll be able to obviously identify if there's an issue or not. It doesn't appear to be at a first glance. So lovely model. Um, very, very lucky to have been able to get hold of him all the way over here in Australia. Um, just having a quick look at the shoulder pads, even though is the, the head on the side of the eagle here is very well cast. And unlike a lot of the custodes, you've actually got these little... Um, tabs that line up in the arms to obviously make sure that these little grooves here are all lined up and neat. But uh, look, I hope you enjoyed the video guys and uh, we'll see you for the next unboxing video. Cheers.